Hello, welcome to the Yorkshire Dales. Beautiful day. My uh, bad leg's playing up, so I'll only be doing about an hour and there's the car. <laughs> However, in this short period of time, how about a bag seal? <laughs> Bale seal, I should say. 1814 Nice one, 1807 The extensions would have been opened uh, a year by then Yes That is one gorgeous little Baltic States flax bale seal Yes indeedy uh, 12k GH. Nice one. I think it's uh, 1818. 1811, I should say. Oh, hey, look, I'm just pottering around by my car. Look, <laughs> we've missed all these. Oh, beautiful. Wish you were with me. Really nice spot, this. Now that's a nice seal. 1806. Number two post. Uh, 1814. Totally different kind of lead to the other one. Right, another 1814. Whoa, it's hot work today. Sun is shining bright. Birds are singing, lambs are buying. <laughs> oh, what a hobby, eh? <sighs> I might head for that tree shade. <laughs> 1814. Oh, little lamb. Another one, 1814. That came in at 45, 48. <laughs> if anybody had been over this, they'd have just left it as junk. 1806, uh, George III, half penny. I got the coin. Yeah. Loom it. Keeps all the threads in tension. That looks like a kid's whirly gig that's been bent in half. I'll straighten it out when I get home. And another one. Number 13. Unlucky for some. Ulyakov. Can't get a date. It's a bit mangled. I'm not sure what that is. I don't think it's an 1806. Uh, I might be able to get the date off there. Get the old Brillo pad on it. 1808. Have you noticed there's hardly any junk around at all? I know you can't see anything, but I think that's one of those 1809 very large seals with a big D on it. <laughs> 1814, trying to kid me, it was iron <laughs> down deep. Wow, that one's been in the wars. <laughs> God, it's getting hot. I think I've had enough. <laughs> oh, another loom weight out of the mill. <sighs> Nearly back to my car now. <sighs> 1814. Hey. <laughs> Go back to mum. <laughs> Those striped cows. Well, the, the tiny little calves. So anyway, I'm giving up for the day. <sighs> I've still overdone it. Ah, oh, dear. 17 new Russian flax bale seals. I just noticed while I was here, <laughs> I'm parked next to a farmer. 
how do you get a flat tyre on a tyre like that? My goodness. Well, that wasn't a bad little hunt at all for under a couple of hours. <laughs> and my leg is still feeling ow, ow, ow. <laughs> still. Noticeable lack of junk. I mean, I don't regard pieces of lead as junk. Um, the signals I'm getting for these are the same as I'm getting for seals, so I'm digging them up. That is not a whirligig. Um, it's got one little slit in it, but a whirligig has got to have two holes. You are not a whirligig. Don't know what you are. <laughs> a bit of bronze out the mill. Little tiny bearing of bronze again out of the mill. Two very nice loom weights. Um, you may or may not get a picture right now to show you <laughs> how to keep the thread under tension. Depends if I can find it. They, have, they, they of course they go that way up, <laughs> pulling down. Oh, heavy little efforts. Right, seals. Two there, I'm not sure what date they are. 1806, nice eh? 1807, 1813, 18, I think that's 15. Now the majority though are 1814. That mill was in its heyday in 1814. You always get more of them than anything else. Plus an archangel. <laughs> Look, there's, there's letters round the side and the middle's gone. Can't read any of it. But, oh, oh that's, that's a D, the letter D. It's one of these archangels with the big D on. Look at this little beauty. Aren't you gorgeous? It's a quartered shield with annulets. Usually the pellets, but these are little rings, not not pellets. Ah, oh, you're nice. The shield and a cross, which divide it into quarters, and then you have different number of annulets of pellets telling you where it's from. Just lately, I've been getting these annulets on every trip. Whereas before, they've definitely pellets. And are you writing up there? I wasn't too sure. No, you just done your lips. There's a one missing there. So that's 12K and that's a G. You can just see it. It comes around there and that's the thingy on the G there. H. 12K G H. Comes in very handy when you know, when you've had a few of these. You are nice. I, I like these. They don't they have to give me any information, but I like them. Now, coins. 1806. Come on. Come on. Play nice. 1806. But it is 1806. George three Half penny. There you go. And the other one, surprisingly enough, is 17, let me show you the date. I've got a date on here somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Come on, there we go. Look, 1747. Yeah, hey. And turn him over that way and we have got, turn him over that way. <laughs> and we have got George the second there see his face into the left yes don't usually get a date on them that old they're usually worn away to nothing so 1747 that's yeah, going some is that look oh you can see the heads better like that okie dokie let's have a picture there you go 1806 George 3 1747 George 2 not a bad couple of hours, eh? <laughs> uh, I keep telling you it's out there, go get it. But please don't go on to my seal sites. 
You're upsetting the farmers. So, there you are. Hope you enjoyed the trip out in the sunshine. Till we see you next time, you take care. And I'll leave you with a couple of old kings. Yes, trying to kid on that the Romans look Roman emperors. <laughs>